Kentucky Lieutenant Governor Janine Hampton, Air Force veteran, interacts with cadets at the Seaburn Gas Chamber. When interacting with cadets, she gives them a little background of who she is and something to live by when being a part of the military. I served in the military, but it, it, it's a comradeship of friendship that's there forever. And I, I will tell you that whatever you end up doing in the military, know the mission, know the mission of the Army, know what role you play, because no matter what job you do, you will have some, some part of helping the Army meet its overall mission, and whatever unit you're with will have a mission. Know that mission. I am still mission-oriented to this day, uh, even in this job. Throughout her time here in Fort Knox, she has been able to relate with the cadets through their training. Uh, I just want, I just, I'm really impressed with the cadets I've seen today. Uh, they're sitting in, in uh, mop gear, <laughs> mop floor. <laughs> I remember wearing the gear in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, so I feel for them it's a very hot day. But again, I commend each of them for choosing to serve their nation in, in the uniform of, of the United States Army. It's uh, all the services that those who choose, for whatever reason they came in, at the end of the day, they're, choose, they're serving their nation, and I commend them for choosing to do that. No, I, I did go through, through officer training school, but nothing like this, uh, even though I did spend time in Desert Storm in chem gear, and I actually taught uh, chemical warfare training in one of my units, uh, but I just want to get a feel for, for the, uh, the, the cadets, the experience that the cadets are going through while they're here in Kentucky. Um, I'm grateful that they're, they've chosen to do this training here at Fort Knox, and I uh, just want to see what's going on. This is Nia Fields reporting from Cadets Summer Training Public Affairs Office. Thanks for watching.